All right. Well, I had a couple of questions on uh, problems involving exponents and uh, products of exponents and products of um, or fractions with involving exponents. And so I just wanted to go through a couple of those problems here. Um, but first, I want to review a couple rules with exponents. Uh, we've always got our base. You can call it whatever number or letter you like. B for base works fine. You've always got some power A. So let's, let's look at um, what happens if we take two numbers, B to the A times B to the C. Um, let's look at a couple of numerical examples first. Let's take 2 to the third times 2 squared. Uh, we all know this in our, in our hearts as well as in our heads. Uh, this is 8 times 4, which is 32. Uh, but we could also think of this like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Right? That's 2 to the fifth. If you multiply that out, how many 2s does it take? It takes 5 of them. It's no coincidence that 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay, there's no coincidence. Let's look at another example. Um, 7 squared times, and here I've got myself in trouble, 7 to the first, you know, if we do that math in our heads, <laughs> 49 times 7, what do we have? 3, 63, right? 7 times 9 is 63, 7 times 7 is 49, plus another 6 is 54, 543 is that result. Um, this is 7 times 7 times 7. This I'm not so confident on, this I'm very confident on, <laughs> but it's no coincidence that this two and this one add together to give us the three sevens. Okay, that's, that's the general rule that I'm trying to get at here. If you have the same base of two exponents multiplied together, you can rewrite it as just that base to the sum of their powers. So let's look at a couple of algebraic examples, things with variables instead of numbers. And this is where we had some questions uh, asked. So this was a problem, it was simplify each expression. The first expression was x to the fifth times x to the sixth. So we see this after just seeing the above examples and we think, oh, these are just two exponentials, x to the fifth, x to the sixth, and they have the same base. Hmm, I think based on the previous examples, we know what to do, right up here. 2 cubed, 2 to the second, it's 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 7 squared times 7 to the first, that's some number, but it's 7 to the third, right? To the third. So this is just x, we keep the same base, to the 5 plus 6 power, which is 11 x to the 11th, okay? Um, if we know what x is, if somebody tells us what x is, or if our algebra teachers from high school tell us what it is, we can plug it in, raise it to the 11th power and we've got it. Uh, the next question was uh, sort of the same, sort of different. Um, it involves another rule for exponentials. It involves exponentials. Um, b to the a raised to some other power c. Um, we'll see something like this here in just a minute. Um, but let's think about conceptually what this means. Um, if I were to put like a 2 here, what that means is we take b to the a and we multiply it by another b to the a. There's two of them multiplied together. If I change this to a 3, we multiply another one on the end. The number of these is the number here, okay? So let's just look at this result here. What do we do with powers when the bases are the same for the exponentials? Well, we add them up. That's what the previous example showed us. So this is b to the a plus a plus a. A faster way of doing that is multiplying three 
times a. And that's the rule, that's the general rule. When you've got a power or exponential raised to a power, how do you sort of join the two things together? Well, it's through multiplication. So the general rule is b to the a to the c, no matter what that is, is just b to the a times c. So let's go to a, we could do some numerical examples, but we'll jump right into the algebraic one that was given in the, in the questions. Um, two times y to the sixth raised to the third power. You could do this the way I did it up here with, you know, three of these things multiplied together. Or you could use the rule that I just gave you. Um, but this is a little more complicated because we've got a product of, of things here. So I'll do it the first way and as well as the second way just to break it into you. So this is three of these things multiplied together. Right. So we can rearrange because there's a lot of products in here that looks like a uh, subtraction sign, it's a multiplication sign. We can rearrange everything here, two times two times two times y to the sixth times y to the sixth times y to the sixth. And now we know what to do because we know the rule of adding powers when the bases are the same. This is two to the third times y to the 18. So this is one way of doing it, remembering that powers are just repeated multiplication. Um, but a, a nicer way perhaps to do it is just to use the distributive rule for powers over products. Okay, the, again, it's the distributive rule for powers over products. This does not work always for over sums and differences. Depends on the characteristic of your field, um, which you'll learn when you become a math major. And I hope, I hope all of you become math majors someday. I think that's great. If not, that's great too. But here we go. We've got two y to the sixth to the third. Um, we're going to distribute this and we're going to do what I said earlier. We're going to multiply the powers together. Okay, so we're going to distribute this power three to the power on the y and the power on the two, remembering that the power on the two is just a one. So this is two to the one times three times y to the six times three, which is two to the third times y to the 18th. Same value, no matter whatever y is, it's the same value. Next one, um, we learned this one in, in class the other day, but it uses a third rule. Um, actually it uses the same rule, I'm sorry, it uses the same rule that we've already done. When you have two exponents, with the same base. Here we are, they are the same base. Y to the negative two, Y to the seven. You just add the exponents. You just add them. So this is Y to the negative two plus seven, which is Y to the fifth. Okay. Um, we could change this problem just to make it a little more interesting. Um, y to the two times Y to the negative seven. Here, I just swapped the sign on the two and the seven. We use the same rule. We just multiply, and since they're multiplied, we just add the exponents. Y to the two minus, or sorry, plus a negative seven, which is Y to the negative fifth, which I'm hoping we remember is just one over Y to the positive fifth. Negative exponents can be moved into the denominator. Um, changing the, the, X, the power to be, become positive. Um, there's a little bit of a trick to it by multiplying by a clever one, but uh, that's, that's the gist of it. So I hope that helps. Um, and again, this is Professor Love, and I will see you again next time.